China. So by using a VPN and appearing as if they're in China, they could pull up lists of chemical productions that are incentivized. The tax rebate amount is 13%. Yeah. As opposed to most other items that they offer rebates on, 3, 6, and 9%. So the production of fentanyl drugs, again, causing 70,000 deaths in the United States every year, that's one of the most incentivized products currently that's produced in China. You know, Bill, I'm listening to you with this, and of course, I, I read some of the things, but uh, you have a very soothing voice, and sometimes things <laughs> sink in better than when I read them myself. And just thinking about these numbers and China's stance, I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Why is it, do you think, that it seems that Americans, I want to be careful with this because obviously the fentanyl crisis itself is certainly on the minds of most Americans. I don't want to misrepresent that, I think, obvious fact. But it seems like its source and the likely motivations behind its production and distribution, it seems like most Americans not grasp the long-term picture. Do you feel the same way? And if you do, you don't tell me, but if you do, why do you think that is? Why do you think that Americans, at least from my point of view, seem to be blind to what's I, actually going I, on? I agree hundred percent, Mark. Yeah. And I think two reasons. One is we don't, let's say culturally, politically, our leaders are not concerned. And you already mentioned this. Huh? I'm getting this from you. They're not concerned with the long-term plan. You know, they're not concerned with, they're concerned with today, not a year from now, two years from now. But the other thing that I think is significant here is there's still in this country a stigma attached to drug use where we can blame it on the drug users to some extent. We can say, oh, this is just people using drugs. I mean, this is what's going to happen. It is always there's always been drug issues in this country. There's always going to be drug issues in this country. There's nothing that can really be done about it. It's, it's a, what is it? It's a demand problem. Mm -hmm. they, they can get away with it by saying it's a, a demand problem, not a source problem. I disagree with that because, Mark, this is the first time in our history that the way drugs are killing people is very different today than it was in our childhood, 